an old guy, uh, a Moldovan Jew, tell me a story. He was driving through the south in Mississippi, I think, for some work. And he stopped at a black-owned uh, shack that served catfish uh, with uh, so-called fixings. I don't know what... By the way, I don't like this soul food. To me, it tastes... It's, they say it has spice. It, it tastes like rubber. I had, I had soul food myself a few times. Uh, overcooked vegetables and this. I, I find uh, disgusting. They put... They make barbecue, but they drown in uh, kind of sweet tomato sauce. I don't like, but to each their own taste. But so this uh, old Moldovan Jew drives through uh, Mississippi and go shack uh, catfish, all you can eat special. They have this roadside shack, all you can eat special catfish. And uh, not much money, I think, $13. I don't know how much they charge, but all you can eat, and this guy is big eater, so he wolfed down 19 plate of catfish. And he just left those country and black folks, they left them in awe. Those happy jigaboos were amazed at this display, they were in shock. They never seen this kind of gluttony before, never. She, look at that white boy go. I, I don't know, it's not so unusual. In the, but they have many other jigaboo traits besides this. I think uh, on previous show I tell you Russian Jews are just high IQ Negroes with very similar vices and a similar problem with impulse control and this is continuum, however, where was I? So you see the weakness of the black race in our time where even an old Jew from uh, armpits of East Europe, this guy must have been 60 or when this happened just completely humiliated the, the black catfish shack in Mississippi, but they couldn't believe he ate 19 or 20 plates. They humiliate them in their own establishment with catfish and this. 